We move now from the most popular tourist destination to the most popular tablet. Something any tech fan can answer. Of course, it is the iPad. 82% of tablet users own one. But it may get some serious competition this week. Tech expert Katie Linendahl has been checking out Amazon's Kindle Fire and Barnes & Noble's Nook tablet, and she joins us now. Great to have you with us, Thank Katie. You. Good morning. So you brought some of the new tablets along with you this morning. I did bring goods, yeah. And I think what is amazing about the tablet world, we talk about that 82% market share that the iPad has. There are over 100 tablets in the marketplace, and I think most people would be hard pressed to name two that aren't the iPad. Mm -hmm. And finally, we get to see some competition, especially as we head into holiday season for the consumer. So let's talk about the Kindle Fire first here. Yes. Because this just comes, I, I, firstly, it, it's much, much cheaper. Oh my gosh, it's $300 cheaper than the iPad, which right. is insane. And it's that's just the lowest end iPad. Exactly, that's the base price for the iPad. So let me give you a quick review on this. So Amazon Kindle Fire, this is coming out this week. You're gonna hear a lot of buzz on it. As you can see here, a little bit smaller in terms of form factor. It has a seven inch display, Apple's iPad 9.7. Also, it runs a customized version of Android. Fast web browser, Amazon has a new Amazon Silk web browser. I have to tell you, I've been testing this out for the last few days, it's extremely fast. Really? And in yeah. terms of having that entertainment experience, if you're looking for songs, music, movies, magazines, newspapers, apps, it's all packed in there. How about the Nook then, Barnes & Noble's Nook? Yeah, so not to be upstaged, let's talk about Barnes & Noble's Nook tablet. This is a non-working device. It's the best I could do, guys. Lay off. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> but it has the same look and it feel looks like it. of the Nook tablet, which too will hit retail this week. And again, when we're talking about that entertainment experience, being able to access eBooks, music, magazines, everything is stacked inside here. Also has that seven inch display, so a little bit smaller in terms of form factor. Dual core processor, just like the Kindle Fire, which means it is gonna be very fast. This one has a little bit more storage a little bit more memory, and it's coming at a price tag of $249, but still, we cut the iPad price in half. Now, I will say, a lot of people are like, what do these not have that the iPad does? Three huge features that I have to hit on that the iPad has that these don't. First off, let's start with the cameras. You cannot take camera, you cannot take pictures, you cannot take high def video. No pictures. No front part. facing, no rear facing camera, no capability to video chat. Also, if you're obsessed with apps, at launch, Kindle Fire and Nook tablet will only have a few thousand, though I expect that number to grow exponentially. Just a few thousand. Just a few thousand. Well, iOS has 500,000 and nearly 200,000 that are proprietary to iPad. So if you really want the apps right out the gate, you're going to have to hold tight. But again, they will pop out. And also, these do have Wi-Fi capability, but no 3G. I think I'm on your email right now. Do you want me to start sending out some <laughs> Do not send some any message, emails some messages. from my device. The browser, does seem, <laughs> <laughs> the browser does seem pretty speedy on the Fire here. I was really impressed. Um, so this is new. Amazon Silk browser, yeah. it's pretty impressive. They were talking about how fast it is. Because I, I pre-ordered this and then I decided to hold off because I wasn't sure, I wanted to see, but now you're you did. maybe giving, I did, I, I actually pre-ordered it when they first announced it. Yeah. Because I had the first, like the Kindle, but then I, I'm, I, I'm not I surprised that you pre-ordered we'll too see. because they're estimating, there's one source, eData source says 500,000 people have pre-ordered, which I think is a huge number. It's cheap, yeah. relatively speaking. And in terms of impulse buying, I mean, I think a lot of yeah. people this holiday season will be picking up. Do I think it stacks up to the iPad in terms of full uh, full experience? No, no. but okay. I think it's an awesome option. Katie Linendahl, cool. you're an awesome option. <laughs> on, the tech, on the tech front, thank you Always. so much. We appreciate it. Thanks.